when you called in from Toronto and you're talking about uh, Aaron Judge's uh, historic home run, I had no idea you were following him around. No clue. Yeah, Look was, at you. I was ch- chasing him a little. Kind of creepy. You know? <laughs> So there were a couple chases going on. There were a couple chases going on. One of Maris and you of of him. So, um, what did you what did you glean from your your hanging out or being around Aaron Judge during that time, Jeff? You know, I think he's I think he's still a mystery to a lot of people, and nobody in the Yankees organization really has a great sense of what he's going to do which honestly is about the best position that you could put yourself in when it comes to free agency. Um, Now, maybe that changes when you put your expectations out there and maybe you want a number that is so astronomical that it's laughable and that there's uh, festering ill will that the organization may not know about. Uh, or that there are, you know, hard feelings still from the contract offer that came back in April. Um, but I think in the end, what Aaron Judge understands is that uh, the uh, cost and the pain of paying him what he is going to want is less than the pain of losing him. There's no question. And. And, and, and when you look at it that way, uh, the Yankees are in a bit of a damned if they do, damned if they don't. Uh, but if they don't, uh, they're a lot more damned. Well, the question is, is will he give them the chance to be uh, damned either way? That the, the idea uh, around him uh, being such a mystery is that maybe deep down he harbors a desire to go back to California and play for the Giants, and it won't even matter how much money the Yankees throw at him, especially since, Jeff, your quote that you put in your piece that certainly caught my eye was surrounding uh, the moment when Brian Cashman let loose the details of the contract that Judge turned down, and uh, you, ha- you quoted him telling Anthony Rizzo, a teammate who talked about it with him afterwards, quote, you don't think I'm worth more, end quote. So what what about that possibility? That was a great story. That was a great story, oh, wasn't it? Oh yeah, you got you got you had me at hello with that one. I, that literally caused me to text you in the middle of my show to say I need you on my show tomorrow. That, that's exactly what happened. So yeah, I you know I I think that I think that that is natural for any high achieving person, right? Uh, you want to know that your contributions are appreciated. You want to to feel loved. And I think for the most part, Aaron Judge feels pretty loved as a Yankee. He understands that uh, if he's not performing, there are certain standards that the fans have. And those standards do not change over time. Derek Jeter got booed. And and Derek Jeter is the most unimpeachable Yankee, you know, since what, the, the 50s? Like since Mickey Mantle, since Yogi Berra? I mean, he, he is everything to that organization, and fans still booed him. So I don't think that getting booed necessarily bothers him. I think he understands that there are many benefits to being a New York Yankee and that the detriments that you have are outweighed by those benefits. But this, this is a value proposition, Rich. Um, you, you add up all of that great stuff that being a Yankee is, along with uh, the bad stuff. Uh, and you add up the great stuff that comes with if you're a Dodger being on an extremely successful team and if you're a Giant being on a team that's got a ton of money to spend and is an hour and a half from the, the small town you grew up in and uh, a Met and a Padre or a, a, a Mariner. You can, you can look at all these different places. And in the end, I really do wonder, is money going to be the tiebreaker because money connotes value, right? Money says – this is how much we value you. We can say it all we want with our words, but we're going to show you instead of tell you. Okay. So it's going to come down to who pays them the most is what you're saying, uh, or that's your, your, your I, you general know, I, sense I, I of it? I, I don't know if it's going to come down to that because I think there's certainly scenarios, Rich, in which he, he finds comfort in a place or with a team that may not be willing to pay him the most. But I, I think that to, to discount money as being a, a, an enormous factor here would just be ignoring human nature and ignoring 
uh, the idea of achievement and wanting people to recognize that achievement uh, in as many ways as they can, including the most tangible, which is how am I going to compensate you for your achievement? So what do you think the timeline is on this once the World Series is over? Um, or, or has it started? Have the Yankees already reached out to him, or the Yankees are still trying to figure out who's doing the reaching out? What do you I'll got? be honest. I don't, have a gr- I, I don't have a great sense on the timeline at this point. You know, I, I look in the past at big free agencies. I look at uh, Bryce Harper and Manny Machado. They didn't sign until February. Uh, I look at Corey Seager. He signed in November. Um, the, the market has not established itself at this point yet. Um, I, I could see him wanting to get something done quickly because Aaron Judge is uh, a very process-oriented guy and somebody who's pretty meticulous in his routine. And wanting to get that established earlier rather than later is, is always a good thing. But there's also a, a scenario in which the market is not what he's looking for. And uh, he, he runs the risk and is willing to absorb the risk of letting it play out in hopes of getting what he thinks is right and fair. So what are your thoughts on the market? Mets, Red Sox, Dodgers, will they be involved, do you think, in this? Uh, I think – I don't know that the Mets are going to be involved. Uh, that That's not clear at this point. Uh, I do think the Dodgers will be involved, and I think a lot of the Red Sox depends on what happens uh, with Rafael Devers. Because I don't, I don't see them um, extending Rafael Devers and signing Aaron Judge. Um, so if a Devers contract comes through, then I think they're probably out of the running for Judge. But if one doesn't, then they'd be foolish not to at least inquire and uh, see if they can sell him on going to Boston. Because you want to talk about a, a coup? Oh my goodness! Can you imagine Aaron Judge with the Red Sox? Well, I mean, you would be derelict of duty if you represent Aaron Judge and don't get the Red Sox involved and in the most public manner possible. I mean, that that would be <laughs> honestly that that's I mean, I, what is that straight out of the Scott Boris playbook? I mean, so, you know, put it all together. Um, it, it's going to be a monster story in baseball, certainly because it involves Judge, the Yankees.